All right, welcome back. Uh, for this quickie uh, tutorial here, I will show you just a couple of uh, special effects that I have used in the past uh, running the CCSM, the Compass Configuration Settings Manager, uh, running what you see here, which is Ubuntu Linux 12.04. Uh, if you haven't already, please take a look at the previous video of this, which is the introduction uh, for Compass. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the first video you need a 3D capable uh, graphics card. Uh, if you have an older machine without that capability, uh, it, this will not work. Uh, well, I mean, you can install Linux. Uh, that part should work installing the operating system, but running these special effects without, without the 3D graphics card, the special effects only will not work. I hope I did not confuse any beginners there. But as I said, what you see here, I do have Ubuntu Linux. This is version 12.04, of course, featuring the Unity desktop. And of course, I have Compiz already installed. So let's take a look at a couple uh, special effects here. Uh, I just typed in CCSM. We'll go to the Settings Manager. And of course, you have this little warning. Uh, heads up, CCSM is an advanced tool. Use it with caution. OK. Let's go to the search uh, bar here. Let's uh, type in um, WOB. And this is something I've used in the past. This is Wobbly Windows. I remember the first time I showed my son this, he said, whoa. And uh, well, you, you can see why the Wobbly Windows here. Um, Kind of cool, kind of different, maybe kind of silly, but I, I just wanted to show you what you can do with uh, Linux. Okay, let's try one more. Um, how about the mouse? Okay, and as you see here, I have already uh, clicked Show Mouse, Enable Show Mouse. Now, this is kind of cool because if you look at my mouse here, I'll just leave it here on top of the where it says OS. Um, hold the, um, let's see, the super key, the Windows key. I haven't done this in a while. I think you, yeah, super key and K. Well, how about that? There you have your uh, fire mouse, flaming mouse. I'm on fire. It's raining aliens. <laughs> Sorry, I was watching the... Um, uh, making of Halo 2, they had the uh, uh, voice actors, the actors doing the voices, and one of them, I guess, is a comedian, and he just, they showed him saying, hey, it's, it's raining aliens, and he, 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 he said some other stuff. Anyway, yeah, this is how you do a couple of special effects with the mouse here running Linux, and if I um, hit, uh, let's see, the super key and K, you shut it off. Uh, hit the super key and K, you turn it on. Now this, the the speed of this, of the flames can be adjusted, the radius. Let me um, go here real quick. Let me go back into the settings manager. And let's go to, um, now you don't have to type it in. I'm just going to show this for beginners in case you get lost. But let me just uh, show mouse here. Particle options. As you can see, you can change the color. Um, uh, let's see. Let's try that. Uh, maybe too light, huh? Let's try it again. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, let's see, how about particle size? If you go here, you see as I'm hitting the arrow down, it's almost, well, it is gone. Go a little higher. And there you go. And the number of particles. I think you get the picture here. Now, if you hit the X, this will go back to the default settings. If I click all the X's here, it'll go back to the way it was. There you go. Okay, well, this, just, this is just a couple um, 
quickies, special effects on running Compiz, which can be used on various Linux distributions. I have only tested this in Ubuntu Linux running 12.04. I understand some other people have had success in the subsequent releases of Ubuntu Linux. I personally have not tested them. Um, so just giving you a heads up, if you're running Ubuntu Linux, at least 12.04, you should be okay to run something like this here. All right, well, that's it for this quickie uh, couple of special effects using your desktop Linux with Ubuntu. I think I'll do one more, and I think in the next one I'll show you how to run, uh, that I've gotten many requests on how to enable the famous cube effect for Linux. So for the next one, get ready to be cubed. All right, catch you guys later. Ciao.